So, um, next few videos I put up uh, will mostly be kit kit kind of beer stuff. I've um, it's very difficult now <laughs> to brew um, all grain kits with when you're a full time carer of your wife. You just don't have the time to concentrate on on those hours of, of brewing. But anyway, I hope you enjoy what's coming up now. Uh, this was a fast lager kit, this one. And uh, I've got a, a Get A Brew coming up as well. Get A Brew kit. Um, we're just, it's all done. I'm just waiting for it to... Uh, about three weeks time I'll get that out because it's um, lagering in the bowl <laughs> anyway uh, this is a um, this is a lager kit uh, from brew firm um, make of it what you will I mean I don't I don't think you'll get a lot of content out of me much longer anyway but um, I hope you enjoy something of this. <laughs> See you later. How quick a kit beer can you do it? So I'm going to try. I'm uh, going to see how quick I can get this from start to in the fermenter how long it takes so we are doing a brew firm pilsner and this is a brew firm's premium pilsner kit which only really brews they say 12 liters i will do this to 14 liters so um what do you get you get a tin of malt so you get a tin of malt here um, which is a 1.5 kilo tin um, you get a yeast which is a Czech uh, lager yeast so and that's 8 milligrams what do you add you add 500 grams of sugars is I put uh, 300 grams of extra light DME and 200 grams of brewing sugar which is a powder um, into this brew changes or additions so these are uh, a little Hallertau enhancer pack just to throw in like a dry hop at the end of fermentation um, and I'm going to opt out of the yeast and we go with the Mango Jacks California Lager Yeast. Um, and uh, and that's, that's how I do this brew. Uh, yeah, and there you go. Uh, we'll show you the brew when we get to it. So sugar's ready to go. They added sugars, um, which I'm using uh, brewing sugar and extra light uh, malt extract, dry malt extract. Uh, malt is ready to go. So let's see how long this takes me. What I do first, what I do first, is I'm going to add the water to the dry malt extract and the sugar to dissolve that. That's my first step. So clock's running and uh, we're off. Sugars. Uh, dissolved now in here and we're going to add the tin of malt extract uh, the kit there the, the <laughs> liquid malt extract it's hopped as well I know that much okay uh, right, the can is in and we're currently sitting at six liters I'm gonna now top this up with water so we're probably about 4.8, I would say, but anyway, um, it's in there. I'll let it cool down for a little bit before I add the yeast. Right, so we have opted out of the 
brew firm yeast which was a Czech Pilsner yeast I think and um, we are going for two extra grams in this pack as well of California lager yeast right, that's gone in and uh, jobs are good in I think so, um, everything's in and I've put the yeast in and uh, let's check the time okay we're done <laughs> I've estimated 25 minutes to do a kit beer um, it's in the fermenter and uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens with it but uh, yeah 25 minutes uh, I'll come back and we'll have a chat This one is the premium Pilsner kit and I'm going to bottle this this uh, this evening. Um, we've had a taste and it's not too bad. And here <laughs> is the result of the um, fast brew day so so this was um, the brew firm Pilsner so we'll crack it open and we'll see what it tastes like I've got a hiss coast glass um, good carbonation lovely little head on the top of that I batch primed it and their recommendation was seven grams of sugars per litre so let's try it there is a bitterness It's not unpleasant. Okay, I mean it's away now. <laughs> I'm gonna see what this is like in, you know, I, I would think I'm gonna try this in four to six weeks time. I'm not getting a lot of phenols or anything off it. It's uh, That's the makings of a decent beer. Would I get it again? Yeah, I probably would get it again. It, it's it's not unpleasant. Um, 12 quid. I've already got... Uh, I opted the yeast out. And I also... Um, I, I used Harris's... Uh, clear brew in it to help with the trying to get away from the homebrew twang uh, not getting a lot of any twang off of this that head might also be to do with the I put that Harris's they do another one which is like head retention there's definitely some head retention on that so can't be unhappy let the wife try it see what she thinks of that um it can't really go wrong um, in four or five weeks we'll see what it does but there it is it took me 20 or 25 minutes to do the whole brew and then get it in the fermenter and technically I guess that's 10 days since I brewed it in the bottle 10 days in the bottle um, it was a week I left it for a, a week um, it's a 4.6% beer I'm pretty sure it was a 4.6% beer it was a 4.7% beer and um, I just don't think 
there's a lot wrong with it. <laughs> um, so opted out on the yeast. Uh, so that was three quid. So that's 15 quid. Um, and we could say 20 quid all in. And I got 14, just about 14 litres of beer. Um, so 20, 20, 14 litres. If I said I had 22 pints, nearly pints, 500 mil, uh, what's the breakdown on that? Uh, already got the bowls, so they're long paid for. Um, so value for money, I think, is pretty good. Um, it's cheaper than buying four cans of Red Stripe. Uh, um, it tastes better than Foster's. Um, was a bit of fun. And... Um, there you go. Um, I cannot not recommend it, so I would recommend it. Um, I think it's a decent kit. Uh, I would do it again and play with it a little bit more. But anyway, there you go. That's what you get.